Yo, listen, you ever needed a photographer, a videographer, you just need somebody with a camera that knows what they're doing. We want more.com. Check it out, son. We got brand new photos up on here. We got bookings. We got even news outlets. It tells you what's going on in the world of we want more. We want more.com. Check it out. <clears throat> oh, oh, my bad. It's not a it's not a flex. It's not a flex. What is going on guys? It's your boy Shamar Moore, aka We Want More himself. I'm back on the frame right now that you are looking at. Today we're gonna take a different curve as to what we normally do on this channel. You know, it's about time to address this, okay? I've been looking, I've been watching, and I've been seeing. Basically, um, I've noticed that a couple of videos on my channel have received a lot of views, like kind of randomly. More specifically, because it's like towards this topic the seventh vlog that i posted on my channel which kind of focused on john jay a little bit um i've noticed i got a lot of views and i recently got a comment of someone asking you know telling like why i chose john jay and like going to the specifics the ins and outs of john jay and like why is it such a good school now i can't speak from like an expertise kind of level but what i can do is speak from a student level and i know a lot of you who you know search up on YouTube you're probably wondering like what John Jay is like and you're probably interested in the college considering you you want to be a cop you want to be a lawyer you want to be somewhere in law enforcement and so that's what this video is kind of geared towards today and I know it's kind of weird that I'm making this video now um, but the reason why I kind of decided to do this was one because of that comment and two because of that seventh vlog that I posted it didn't really express what John Jay is about like I did show you a couple of things that's in there but um, I didn't really get the chance to tell you what it was like because that wasn't the focus of that video so I wanted to make a video today to make it more clear-cut focused for those who are actually interested in John Jay so I have five um, points that I'm gonna go over on John Jay and then you know towards the end of the video you guys can comment to tell me if I did a good job or if you wanted to learn more at any time if you want to know more about John Jay you guys can hit me up on Instagram um, underscore we want more um, you guys can DM me or you could you know message me wherever and I will gladly respond to you all right so the first biggest points I'm pretty sure that everybody wants to know is like student life what is it like to be a student at John Jay College keep in mind all these five points I'm not gonna read off like a pamphlet or something like I'm not gonna tell you you what you know John Jay has endorsed on their website or anything I'm gonna tell you from a student's perspective considering I've been in the school for five years now I will say the student life at John Jay is pretty it's pretty cool like I'm not gonna lie it's not the colleges that you see on TV or it's not like you know the campuses where they throw parties and stuff and you know everybody's excited and they have hangovers and you know they're 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 doing all the stuff that you see on TV this, this is not really John Jay's vibe um, John Jay is more of like uh, indoor um like there are parties don't get me wrong there's there's um events to go to that you know students like throw down like clubs and stuff but as far as like what you see on tv or what you see on pamphlets or what people who go out of state and go into like the big universities tell you john jay is very different from that as far as you know like the transportation to go and back um john jay really offers you a lot um, you can either be like what most people do who travel, um, whether you live in New York, you live outside of New York, like Jersey or Connecticut, because we do have students that come from Jersey and Connecticut that go to John Jay like every day. But I'd say the morning commute for me is not that bad considering I don't live very, very far from John Jay. Location wise, it's not far from the train either. It's literally like two blocks away from the train. So literally if you're coming from the train, it's like a five minute walk. The decor is nice. It's kind of, um, you know, new. I mean, there, there are two separate buildings. There's a new building. New building refers to like all the pretty much new stuff. There's like one side of it where it's like all glass and it's mad, you know, nice and new and stuff. And then there's another spot called the Heron Hall, which is basically like the old building. Well, it's not really old, but it's another building that's within one building. It's kind of confusing, I know. It's one building within the new building where it's six floors and it's like, the older version of college but you're gonna have some classes in Heron Hall and you're gonna have some classes in new building to be honest with you is once you get the hang of it is not gonna really feel like you know it's not gonna really feel like much it's not gonna feel like oh like this is the old version I want to go to the new building or anything like that it's just gonna be you know straight up like I'm at class as far as class wise and like you know finding other stuff to do outside of classes um John Jay does offer a lot like I'm pretty sure like every day out of the week um there's an event going on there's a program going on during community hour there's a lot of stuff that happens happens within campus but more times than not you just have to get yourself involved or you just have to like find flyers around they do post flyers as well like on the bulletin board so if you're ever interested in like let's say a club if you're a freshman 
um they have events freshmen can find out what clubs is on campus but as far as like going to classes and going home most students really just go home right after class um due to the fact that you know most people work most people have kids or most people have like outside um personal businesses that they have to handle so you know when they're not in class they do that's not to say that john jay doesn't offer um things to do outside of class they do it's just you know a lot of people you know don't have the time for it but i will say student life for me is pretty it's different from high school for those that's like in high school or probably even middle school but thinking about college now it's very different it's not like you know the click that you have and you're just in like three classrooms a day it's more like you could be here one day and then the next day you're like all the way down here and the professors are very different um the school work is mostly online so like you have to go to like blackboard if you haven't heard of blackboard things things tend to be a little different so like let's say your first semester of college is gonna it's gonna feel really really different from like high school but once you get the hang of it i promise you you'll be just fine um, but student life is great on, on John Jay. I'm not going to complain. When I was in high school trying to go into college, it was a lot of stuff. It was a lot of campuses that I visited. Um, there was a lot of schools I was thinking about, but I will say John Jay's was like a very clear cut focus. It's like, yeah, it's a very serious criminal justice school, but outside of that, when you're on community hour, for those that don't know what community hour is, it's the free time that we have from 1.30 to 3 o'clock. Pretty much you can do whatever. You can join a club, you can go to events, you can go eat food, you can do whatever. There's no classes scheduled within that time bracket. Outside of like the criminal justice, like heavy load work, it's pretty fun. Next up, I have schoolwork, which I kind of touched on in point one, but I'm gonna go in more, in more depth um, within this point. Uh, the schoolwork for me, I would say was not that hard. Um, my very first semester, my brain was kind of clustered because again, I was transitioning from high school to college, which is very different. Um, but also I was going through personal businesses, like, you know, my father passing away and going through a major break, heartbreak. So my grades started slipping a little bit. One thing I will say about college and John Jay, uh, specifically is that you have to have like a clear brain or a clear mind or a clear focus to, um, you know do well it's not like high school when you was like a freshman entering and they give you like all the easy classes because you didn't know much in college they treat you like an adult you're 18 or you're probably 17 turning 18 within that you know school year freshman year in college they expect you to be college ready so like you gotta be doing the work i will say yes the work from freshman year is way easier than the work from senior year regardless freshman year of college was not like an easy road especially if you're going through personal businesses like myself it tends to get very hard you have to keep up you have to like be on top of it now with the school work yes it does you know at times get hard at the same time john jay offers a lot a lot of resources not only of like let's say the writing center the writing center is basically like this room where like there's a lot of experts whether alumni students or like old professors or other people who are like experts at writing um they help you like write papers so let's say like your professor gives you like a five page paper and you have no idea how to do it or what to do um you can go to the writing center for free and they'll help you with the paper most professors that you're gonna have at john jay if you do decide to come to john jay um they give you the email and some of them even go as far as to give you their personal cell phone number um so if you ever have a problem with like let's say a paper or something you can instantly text them or you can email them and they get back to you like right away i will say in the five years that i've been in john jay that's the one thing i absolutely love was the fact that i never had an issue with a professor where if i didn't understand the work or i was struggling um, I couldn't respond to them. I mean, I couldn't contact them through email or something, but they always responded to me and they always made things kind of clear. Now with schoolwork on the professor side, I will say John Jay, like every other college, has some professors that are just not worth it. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of professors in John Jay that is absolutely worth it. They are excellent. They not only know what they're talking about, but they also, they really, really, really love what they do and they make the work kind of fun to be honest with you like they crack jokes like out of all the professors i've had in my five years with john jay they've cracked jokes they make it easy on you sometimes when you're going through personal stuff and you just tell them they give you an extension i'm that's not to say like oh you know just when you come to john jay it's gonna be easy it's gonna be lax no for the most part they're not gonna make you feel like you know oh my god this is treacherous like i can't do this like i'm struggling i want to drop out they make it you know it's hard work yes but you can do it. The third thing I have on my list is programs. Now the type of programs that, you know, John Jay offers, um, one of them that I'm a part of is called Seek. It's a program where those who like ne can't necessarily pay for college, um, would sign up for it and they, they, they go through like a whole background check. You do have to attend a summer class um, before your freshman year of college. Um, so like right after graduation, let's say for high school, I'm pretty sure your graduation is in June. So like the first week of July, you start the program. It ends in like the first week of August. So you, you're in this summer program for a whole month. Um, they basically, are you doing financial aid? But you also get Seek Money. Seek provides you some money as well. They give you Seek Money for books. 
um, so you don't have to buy textbooks out of pocket. They're basically a program to help those who want to go to college but can't afford it. So there's another program called Apple Corps. Um, they're a lot stricter. They also they do also help you um, in terms of like financial aid or like paying for college, but you have to do a lot more. Um, like you gotta attend summer classes, you gotta do internships, you gotta do a lot of other stuff um, to not only stay in the program, but for them to keep providing money for you. But yeah, John Jay, you know, besides those two, there's a lot more programs that John Jay offers to like help not only with like paying for school, but for also helping with homework or to, you know, become an executive, stuff like that. They basically, there's a lot of pro, like there's a whole bunch that I can't name off the top of my head right now, but like those are the two that came to me, but there's a lot of programs for whatever you need. There's even a program for those who have children, but they don't have babysitters. You can bring your child. If you sign up like before, the semester starts i believe they'll watch your kids for the time that you're there and they also offer work study so like before the semester starts if you're doing financial aid you can apply for work study and the school within itself will give you a job so like let's say you work in a cafeteria you'll work for the sixth floor gym where people work out we all have to sign in and give our ids um there's somebody there that like works with that so john jay there's a lot of stuff that you can do program wise, um, not only to like help you get through college, but to also put on your resume for like, let's say you want to go to law school or you want to get a professional job after John Jay, you can put all of those on your resume. The fourth point I have is friends and events. Now friends, I don't, I don't want to necessarily give you a point of my experience, mainly because I'm, I was the kind of guy that like wanted to get his schoolwork done and go, but I will say I did make like the grace of friends towards the end of John Jay. So I will say it's, it's pretty easy to make friends in John Jay one, because you know, obviously college is hard and everybody's going through the same thing as you. So um, you can kind of sympathize off of that. And also it's not like high school, everybody is like trying to be on a click, but everybody is more like, okay, I'm paying for college. Um, this is a degree, I'm getting more serious with my work. So when you do meet that person that you want to be friends with, it's not on some, oh, they're, they're with you because they like your shoes or they like the money you have, but rather they're with you because you know they want to see you succeed just as much as you want to see them succeed so i will say the friendship level in college is a lot more different and it's more secure however within college like i said before um you have to have a clear mind in order to like do well so as great as friends are sometimes you do have to push away from them and get you know down to your schoolwork which i'm pretty sure everybody knows i will say it's easy to make friends in college but don't let that be your primary focus um especially in john jay john jay there's a lot of people it's like majority hispanic people so so they're very cool they're very cordial like i love them to death um but sometimes it does get tempting to like not focus on your schoolwork and hang out with them not saying hispanic people in general but like friends in general like it's it's very tempting to just hang out with them and then eventually you your grades start slipping um as far as events there's a lot of events um I'm, right now i believe there's like 30 clubs if not more um i happen to be an executive in one of the clubs called the john jay singers um but there's many different clubs there's like the radio club there's a photography club there's a karate club there's a singers club which i'm a part of haitian club there's a jamaican club indian club an asian club there's so many different clubs in john jay that happens and within those clubs they throw a lot of events like parties karaoke night food movie night so many different things that's offered every single like week or weekend so yeah as far as events like there's events happening i say twice a week every week for the semester um there's even points where like they give out prizes promotions um what else you could be featured on the radio um john jay social media on instagram and twitter they do traveling so sometimes they'll travel to like dc they'll travel to maryland they'll travel to i forgot they, they travel to a lot of places though but yeah there's a lot of events on campus so if you do decide to come through to john jay i promise you go to the l2 floor and you'll find all the clubs there and finally the last point um basically why i chose to go to john jay to be honest with you this school at first wasn't on my list um but i knew that i wanted to be a lawyer somehow and because you know let's be real college is expensive um so i wanted to find the best school that wasn't expensive but also give me the greatest quality of work still have a social life still be you know a young adult and still have fun and stuff um and i felt like john jay offered that the best i will say with john jay it's not one of those colleges where you can go to it and you can find like different things outside of what that college is focused on so let's say for example hunter 
Hunter is really focused on the medical field, so I wouldn't advise somebody who wants to be a cop to go to Hunter, even though there might be a program for like law enforcement in Hunter, if that makes sense. So if you do decide to come to John Jay, just make sure like law enforcement is really on your list. Like you want to be a cop, you want to be a lawyer, you want to be a judge, um, a detective, an FBI agent. Like just make sure that that's really on your head because if you if you're unsure or you feel like you're focused in a different direction then john jay may not be the school for you granted there are classes like photography um choir and music there's art there's sculpting there's different things within john jay but john jay doesn't really focus on those so those are more counted as like elective classes that don't they do matter at some point but they're not degree focused if that makes sense so at the end of the day the reason why i chose john jay is because i wanted to be a lawyer and i knew that john jay was the best um quality school for that without paying like ten thousand dollars or more in tuition every year if john jay is a school for you we would be delighted to have you once again i'm not an endorser of john jay but i will say it is a great school to go to and i'm pretty sure they'll look forward to seeing you. and they make you feel at home they make you feel really welcome like you're not just one kid who's like in a field of a thousand other kids and john jay doesn't notice you trust me you do feel welcome you do feel like you belong in john jay so that's all i know this video was like very long but at the end of the day if you have any other questions if you have anything specific that you want me to talk about i probably would do a part two um, just let me know in the comments below or you can let me know in the DMs um, on Instagram at underscore we want more again. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and yeah, I'm going to see y'all boys later, man. All right, I'm out.